What's up guys? My name is Will and today I'm going to be digging a sandpoint well for my parents. So I was talking about driving a well on my property for my cabin build up north and they said, oh, I was thinking about getting one of those. And so I said, hey, why don't I just do it for you? I'll buy two of them. And so we're doing an inch and a quarter sandpoint well and I've got all the materials, everything set up and I rented a jackhammer because I'm not going to spend 16 or eight hours hitting it with a sledgehammer or a post driver or something. So jackhammer it is today. I got two ladders, so that should make it super nice to stand up on those bad boys and drive it into the ground. And so this is the stuff that you will need to make a sandpoint well. For preparation, what I did based off of some research I've done is I cleaned all of these out with a rag and soapy water. And so I literally, I got a wooden stick, kind of like a strip of wood that my dad had laying around conveniently. And I took a really soapy wet rag and I pushed it through there like four times for each one of these to clean out the manufacturing oils because there are oils inside of this from the manufacturing process that you will taste if you don't clean them out. So I cleaned out all of this pipe really well. I took a hanger and I kind of bent the very end of it and stuffed a rag in there and made a little contraption to stuff inside the well tip right here because there's actually, there's like welding that happens along this thing and on the top right here, I'll zoom in. And so there is, there's a bunch of welding slag on the inside of this. And so I would recommend cleaning this out really well as well. No pun intended. Um, otherwise you're gonna be drinking welding slag. This is a 36 inch, inch and a quarter diameter sandpoint well filter, I guess, if you wanna call it. It's got the driving bit on the very end of it. And so this is a super simple operation. This driving bit's the first guy that goes in there. And then you take these inch and a quarter couplers you just screw it on the end right there and then you just screw this pipe onto that one and you just keep driving it into the ground once it gets real low you screw on another one um so right here i got about one two three four five so 25 feet i have 25 more feet up by the house if i need it but i don't think i will we'll see um two pipe wrenches i got some teflon tape right there and then also i'm going to try out this uh this PVC cement. It's set on these couplers to use PVC approved cement. So that's what I'm using. Um, and then I have the well pump. So I have a post driver, extension cord, electric jackhammer. And they say to dig like a three foot hole, but I don't even have the right shovel. I don't really care too much. It's probably to prevent like dirt, dirt from packing into the filter a little bit. So I started it, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Um, and that's all there really is to it. You just put these things together, drive them in the ground, and then you have a well. I've actually never used a jackhammer before ever, and I've never watched any instructional videos or anything, so this is my first time going at this thing. We'll see what happens. Last thing you need before you drive is the sacrificial nipple. So this is just a little piece of pipe that you put on here on this coupler and then you put the drive cap on top of here and so if anything gets damaged it will be that nipple and then you can just throw that away it's like two bucks um, instead of damaging all the other pipe. I'm not sure how it prevents damage from happening but it does. That's what everyone says and so I'm doing it. So I drove that in about one minute just to get the tip in the dirt. So the ground is really soft back here, which is nice. And I feel like I didn't even need the jackhammer at this point, but it'll probably get harder as it goes deeper. Um, but I'm gonna put the next section of pipe on. So here is the bit that I'm working with. 
I called the guy and he said, yeah, we've got a pit driver. It's got a two inch diameter depression. It'll be perfect for driving the Sandpoint well. And so I said, all right, sounds good. I'm gonna come grab that. Drove across town, grabbed it, and it is not the perfect application for this job. If I had one that had a cup that this whole thing, including the driver cap, could fit over, then it would be the right tool for the job, but it's not. So what I'm gonna have to do for this whole process, which is kind of annoying that I just rented this for, it's 140 bucks or 70 if I get it back within four hours. But uh, I'm gonna have to like hold it at my hip and kind of just like finagle it so that it doesn't keep slipping off the drive cap. It bounces, goes and then slips off right away. That's the problem. So if you're ever gonna do this with a jackhammer, make sure you have the right bit or tip. Don't make the same mistake I did. But that being said, I have to live with my mistakes and I'm gonna drive this sandpoint well. So typically everyone takes a string and they tie like a washer or a bolt to it and they throw it in that pipe and then they feel for where the water is. But I was jackhammering away about 15 feet in and well, 15, 16, 17, 18, eh, about 17 feet in. It's about 17 feet and I hit water. Not just any water, water that shoots out of the ground. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Well, maybe not ever seen, but it's pretty cool. It's cleaning up too, it's real muddy before, and I bet you it's gonna be pretty fresh pretty soon. Very interesting.